Hello everyone. Today I'll be taking you through Arco Linux B Extended. This is one of many, many versions of Arco Linux found at arcolinux.info. What it simply is, is just Arch Linux with a few extra repositories and contains a collection of window managers and some minimalist programs. And in the first video, I'm going to show you how to install it. It's very simple. It's the Calamari's installer. You can update your Linux, Arch Linux mirrors when departed in your installation. That's the big ones and all the socials of Arch Linux. So we can just start with updating Linux mirrors. It's optional, but it may increase your download speed depends. I can say it's recommended, but you don't have to do it. I guess it's just for, let's say, welcome to the Arch Linux installer. If you're on an actual PC, you may, especially on multiple hard drives, because when I was installing this on my production machine, I have like multiple hard drives, so, and, a, and an external one. So I, so it would just be stuck on loading modules. So to get around this issue, I unplugged the ones I would not use and deleted all the extra partitions. Hit next. We have a few options. You'll have the options for the Linux kernel, Linux LTS. I don't think it really makes much difference unless you have like newer hardware. But I like to be on the latest kernel, you know. I don't really, I haven't really seen any benefit, but like bigger number, I like it. And you got the hardened kernel, which is like hardened, focuses on the main security holes. Now Zen, I use Zen on my production machine. I heard it's really good if you're doing gaming on it. These two right here are called the U-code. They're like specific patches for the CPU from Intel and AMD. You can, all right. And then you got your video drivers. This is, again, this is a virtual machine, so I'll skip past that. Uh, the login manager is SDDM, and uh, you can install LightDM, GDM, LXDM, and this one called LI. Wait, not LI, LY. Anyways, I'll just go with the default of SDDM. Uh, I recommend just like checking this so that you can get all the themes. All right, so let's uh, skip this part because we won't need to worry about that. I recommend installing the Asian fonts package. And, you know, in case you come across uh, one that's in Japanese, Chinese, etc. You know, I'll just display the actual text, not just like a bunch of squares. Moving along, we got Arco Meta Fun. Has a bunch of fun packages. We won't be installing that log. We won't. We won't need that Samba. We aren't doing any window shares. We'll probably cover that later. Set your time zone and. Uh, Username. What is your full name, you know? Uh, for this, I'll just come up with a whatever name. It's Jim Bob, you know? And for your password, and you can say use the same password for the administrator account. And you hit next. And I'll show you everything that's going to do. Hit install. And now it's going to take quite a while. So I'll get to you guys later. And you'll get a cursor and I'll say Jim Bob. And before you log in, you got multiple options right over here. Cause this is a, a collection of desktop environments. Your selection is awesome. BSP WM, Dusk DWM, Herbs to left WM, I3, left window manager, Open box, Qtile, Qtile for Wayland, 
Spectrum, and X Monad. Uh, we will start with, let's just start with Awesome. So you log in, and you're logged in to the Awesome desktop. Now, if it's really awesome, that's up to you guys. <laughs> but, anyways, the first thing we need to do right now is uh, make the screen bigger. There we go. Oh, it's already installed. So I'll just hit no on that and type in sudo systemctl enable vm tools d. And then go ahead and start it. Then quit out of it. Uh, log out. And I'm about to show you a trick how to get this all set up. So you hit, hey, you open up a terminal, and this will work for SDDM. So type in cd slash user share SDDM cd scripts. There we are. And uh, you can type in nano or vim, whichever you like. I'll do neo vim. And you go to x setup. Neo vim's not installed, so I'll go ahead and install that. Or actually just use vim x setup. Pseudo. Then go down, type in X or MDR size nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Right quit, and by the next boot up, it will be set up for you. And I'll show you how to configure all the other stuff in a future video. See ya.